<laughs> What's up guys, uh, with the Osaka boys, even after the rant we're still bros, uh, yeah that's behind us. I've been on a road I've never been before but it's really tight and narrow so it's perfect for me. I've been to a waterfall, never been to before, actually maybe I have been to it before but for some reason like Google is like updating a lot of the Google Maps to English, so I don't know if I've actually been to this waterfall before because it's it's called like Dragon Waterfall now, when before it was uh, some kanji that I, I don't know. I was thinking about my bikes, and I love my bikes, and I actually have, I don't want to, I don't want to toot my own horn. Now you try. That's not, that's not the sound of the... I've got some nice bikes. I like my bikes. Um, you know, there's, there's better bikes, but I'm proud of what I have. But for where I am in my life, I feel like I've got some damn nice bikes. But, uh, I see a lot of guys running some really ratty old bikes over here. And they're having some, I, sometimes I feel like they're having so much more fun than me, even though their bike's old, their bike's rusty, their bike's this or that. And it kind of makes me think back to my first bike, which I, uh, you know, it was just the shittiest thing. So let me talk about it and just like, I don't think I've ever had more fun on a motorcycle. You know, I, I, I never really went anywhere in that bike. I didn't go on any big trips. Went off-roading once on it. It was a 1972 XL250. So basically I was super into cars. Uh, must you know, muscle cars in particular. I had a, I had a, I, I still have it. It's 1968 Mustang, supercharger, all that good stuff on it. And I was just like, I was, I was so sure that cars were my jam. Like I was all about cars. I didn't care about motorcycles. I thought they were stupid. And uh, my friend bought, uh, my friend was into cars too, but he bought a, he bought a 2004 CBR 600RR. And uh, he came to my house and he was like, ride it. And I didn't have my motorcycle license at that time. And I had just had a little bit of dirt bike experience, but just nothing, nothing, nothing. I had never been on a real bike before, you know? I, I, I probably only cracked the throttle open about a quarter of the way, and I'm like, fuck, this is fast. Ever since then, it's just like, okay, fuck, I need to buy a bike. Ever since then, it was just like, wow, I really need to get a bike. So, um, I found the sheet, I found the cheapest thing. I, I, I didn't even care what it was, like, as long as it was on two wheels and not a scooter. Actually, first, I don't know if I did this first or next, but I took a chainsaw engine and put it on my bicycle. And that was actually pretty fun. And, and you can't shit on it. It was awesome. It was like a drunk, like an alcoholic mobile, like a DUI mobile, but it was cool. I found a 1972 XL250 that was all, you know, basically, I, I, it was just like sitting in a field. And I, I talked to a guy and I chased down the title and I bought it. And uh, basically, the only thing I had to do was change the front tire and uh put uh and rebuild the carburetor when I, when I first bought the bike the throttle cable was broken so i would just the, the the throttle was like accessible right here so i would just ride the bike using like manually operating the carburetor and it, it was it sucked my thumb would hurt it was unsafe it was terrible but i oh god i've never had more fun in my life just going from just going from one part of town to the next part of town, it was just like, uh, it was heaven. Pure joy, you know, like, you know, like, I made a video, another video about this, about just looking back and seeing, like, maybe we have rose-colored glasses about the past, but I, I, I kind of want those days back. You know, like, I, I don't, I, I can't remember the last time that I was just happy, just happy to go out on a sunny day and get on my shitty-ass bike and ride around town even if it was just like from stoplight to stoplight it was just it was the best so i'm like really particular about things now like if i've got a dirt bike i've got the wr and if it gets scratched the other day okay so for example take take this for example i was i came home from a ride at about three o'clock in the morning 
and I uh, I had my it was, I had, my bike was motarded out, so I had my pretty plastics on there, and I wore my boots, my new boots for the first time with the pretty plastic, and I scratched and I scuffed my I scuffed my new graphics up a little bit, and I once I noticed that like I couldn't stop thinking about it. I got home at three o'clock in the morning, and usually I would just jump into bed, but I I got some polish I, I bought some polish compound. I went downstairs and tried to buff it out. It didn't come out. I'm probably just going to put some uh, some stickers over the scuff just because it's going to drive me crazy. But like I'm super particular about stuff now. So like I I I kind of wish that I never bought a nice bike. I wish that I could have just like enjoyed my shitty bike and bought another shitty bike that you can just ride and don't have to worry about washing, don't have to worry about scratches and stuff. Uh, but I it's like it's too late for me. It's like innocence has been lost. If you haven't bought a bike yet, um just buy a shitty bike and make it safe. Make it safe for the road. Buy, it, buy, the, buy the shittiest bike you can and trash the thing, but just make sure that it's safe. Make sure that it goes well and make sure that it stops well. And then you're gonna have, and then never ever buy a nice bike after that. Like honestly, like you're just, you, you're just you'll just ruin it for yourself. Um, I wish I could go back. I kind of do, I kind of do. But I'm just, I'm just too, I'm, I turned into this, like, I'll make a video about this too someday, but you know, like, I, I haven't, I'm not wealthy right now, but I'm a living, I'm living more comfortably than I ever have. I, when I lived in America, I was, I was broke, I was poor, and I, you know, I was literally, I was poor, I lived in a shitty neighborhood, um, you know, I'm talking about my adult life. When I was a kid, you know, everything's okay when you're a kid because your parents will take care of you. But after I moved out, like, I had a really... I, I still had... I, I was still happy, somewhat, but I was poor, and I was just... I, I don't want to say I lived in the ghetto, but I totally lived in... I'll, I'll, make, I'll, make, I'll, I'll make a video about it. I kind of wish I could go back to those times and just enjoy my shitty lot in life, because now I've tasted... I've got a taste of, like, some good stuff, and now it's just, like... You can't go back, so don't make my mistake. Only buy shitty bikes and you'll you'll love you'll love the rest of your life. Thanks for thanks for watching. If uh, if that if that waterfall is any good, I'll I'll uh, I'll cut to that waterfall one when we get there. So, uh, I've made a huge mistake. I, I've been here before and it was a pain in the ass to get here. We basically went off-road to get here at these bikes. The waterfall's up here, but I never walked up to the waterfall, so we're gonna go now. But fuck me, this was... My wrists are so sore. Let's see this fucking waterfall.